Another video where I am once again on the floor under my desk, probably wondering, Ali, why are we here again? We've already seen how absolutely atrocious it looks under there. It hasn't gotten any better since my last video, which linked up somewhere up here. We are today finally installing the Minion routers which I know so many people have wanted to see happen. A few months ago, I posted about the Minion routers. Thank you so much to whoever anonymously on Twitter gave these to me. I know I promised you a video with them and this is that video. I know that installing routers doesn't seem very exciting to some people. For my whole life, I've always just kind of plug and played with whatever my ISP gave me. So this is actually something new to me and I'm gonna be learning something new. So maybe we can learn something new together. I'm going to also set up a Raspberry Pi and then also do some network security, maybe question mark, figure out how to secure what's on my network. And I figured we could learn this together. Oh shit, here we go again. Oh my God. Yeah. Everything is moving. So when you open the box, you get the router, you get the minion. Is KCI? KCI? Wow, KCI? There's the quick installation guide for Bob and I don't know what the other ones are named. Power, ethernet cable, internet service via wall port, internet service via data modem, no. LAN and WAN, LAN and WAN. If this one's named Bob, what's that one named? What's this one named? Did I swap Kevin and Bob? I did swap the bases for Kevin and Bob. Good thing I checked because we need to use the Kevin one. This Kevin is 6E. And I know that there's Wi-Fi. There's like seven now or something. I don't know. I'm not too attached to Wi-Fi protocols. Minion AP quick installation guide for Kevin. So I think this is literally just plug and play. Maybe it's just plug and play. Did I overthink things? What's a LAN versus a WAN? This is this is how much I know about networking. Nothing. By the way, he doesn't have one, but he has three plugs in his bot. And that's how you connect to the Wi-Fi. So many cables. I need help. Okay. So we're gonna start with unplugging everything first. Maybe that was not the right idea. Where did this go to? We are completely offline in the household. The household is now completely offline. Like, is that allowed? Is that the right thing to do? I don't know. There we go. So now it has power. Um, it's red again. I don't know what that means, but we may or may not be online with Kevin. I did it. Let's check. Automatically connect to the Wi-Fi. We're joining Kevin. Okay, that, oh, it worked. Oh, I think we're online. Okay, let's check. A web page just loaded. I'm looking at batteries on Amazon. A web page just loaded. We are so on. Are my lights working? It says connecting to bridge. Oh. We are connected. Hiya, I did it. I think I'm having a little bit of a mental breakdown because I thought this was going to be significantly harder than it actually was. I should call someone and show them. Hold on, let's react. So I, I installed a new router. Um, I would like to show you my new router. Devin, look. Yeah, yep, I see. Isn't that cool? Oh God, that's painful. I feel like this is gonna be my first YouTube video that actually shows me working on my computer, which I never actually usually do on YouTube streams, but I do all the time on Twitch. So let's go get my pie hole working. 
what we're doing to, right now is we're going to set up the Raspberry Pi. We're gonna or we're gonna set up the Pi Hole, get the Wi-Fi password changed and set, and figure out if there's any other security things I need to do. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask my friends and see what they say. Okay, Kevin. Kevin. Hello. We. It's don't minions say Bello. I don't know. I again. I've never seen a minions. Do minions say hello or bello? They say below. So not very minions themed. Connected devices three through the. We do have three connected to the portal. So, oh, as someone who is always very plug and play with their Wi-Fi, I didn't even know I had network topology. What is this? Ah. <gasps> Apparently I could see the topology, which is sick. Wireless settings. We're going to change my password. Click the apply button. Oh, I have to apply. I didn't realize there was an apply button. It says apply. Oh, but I didn't change the password. No, I didn't change the password yet. We're changing the Wi-Fi password, so it's gonna take some time to apply. It's day two of trying to get my router set up and working, and it's working, I've been using it. In the meantime, I reached out to some of my friends and I asked them, hey, what do you do to secure your router? And then I also went on Twitter and I asked people, what are some of the things they do when setting up a new home router to secure it? Tell me why we have almost the same number as bookmarks to likes. People want to know the answers. People want to know the answers. I will have to threaten my router. I am going to threaten my router. Definitely going to do that. Thank you so much for the really valuable advice. Track it. I will threaten my router on a daily basis. I'm supposed to change the password? Maybe. So I pulled out some of the answers from my friends and some of the best answers, and we're gonna go through them and then we'll do them all. First is to make sure UPnP is disabled slash not supported. I don't know what UPnP is, but we got a really great answer from overclocked x64. For UPnP, it basically allows devices on your network to negotiate with the router to set up port forwards basically exposing themselves to the internet. Not ideal if that device ends up having a vulnerability in its firmware. So basically any device I have, I will stop it from connecting to the internet. Ports are forwarded. Change default Wi-Fi password and name and make sure it uses WPA2 with a good key. WPA3 is just not supported by enough clients yet. Those consumer routers don't support multiple Wi-Fi. Okay. Disable WPS. So WPS is less dangerous, but it basically allows devices to connect to your Wi-Fi using a pin or other lower security measures instead of going via WPA2 slash three, which is not recommended. Number three is DHCP reservation slash, slash ranges. Uh, what my friend Carl said to do, which basically allows you, from what I understand, to set a static IP address to my NAS. Roger Mc McCann recommends setting up a subnet to partition off work provided devices, which is a goaded idea. I literally wrote goaded idea in my notes, but that's above my pay grade. That's above my pay grade. DMZ for home server allows for a device on your network to be exposed to the internet, but not the rest of your network. That way, if the device becomes compromised, it does not compromise the whole network. I do not know how to set that up, but if we could figure it out. Um, Overclocked also says to do a pie hole. We're gonna try and do some of these stuff, some of this stuff. So let's jump in, shall we? We're gonna go pop open the Raspberry Pi and see what we can get started on over there. Oh my God, I can't see it. I can't see it. Where's my mouse? Oh my God. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Shit. Oh. After many hustle, we have gotten the resolution working to a size that is reasonable to show up on stream. Now we're actually gonna set up this pile. I have struggled for way too long. So first, curl. S, 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 oh my God, I can't type. Install dot pi dash hole dot net bash.
When warned about needing a static IP address, press continue, which we do have a static IP address. When prompted to select an interface, we're not going to use the WLAN zero. We are going to use hardwire. Pile is free. Continue. We're going to go east. Select an upstream provider. We're going to do open DNS. Pyho relies on third party lists. Select yes. We will install the web. A web server is required for the admin. We're going to hit yes. We're going to enable query logging. I hope that it's selected privacy mode. When you see installation complete, the setup is complete. The screen shows the IP address of your Pi-hole, a link to the domain admin, and then your password. Most networks use dynamic host configuration protocol to assign addresses to devices automatically. These IP addresses are known as dynamic IP addresses because they can change at any time. We've already assigned it a static IP. So we have to set both of these to the Pi-hole address. I don't know if this is gonna work. Nervous, nervous. Everything's loading. Test pie hole. Nope. We have no internet. Um, uh, uh, um, is this my IP address? Um, um, I had a typo. It's literally two, a two, like I typed it in twice wrong and it's literally right in front. It's right there. Oh no. Oh no. I think it's working. Okay, is there a website for testing your pie hole? The internet's online, which is good. We're waiting. What do you see? We see nothing. Oh, ad blocker detected. Please consider reading this notice. We've detected you're using ad blocker plus, no I'm not, or other ad blocking software. Oh my God, hold on. Now I should be able to see in the pie hole, if we hit the dashboard, we are so back, we are so back, we're so back. So I guess I can just like let my pie hole queen out, you know? So you can, you can hang out, I guess. Enjoy yourself, Raspberry Pi. What do you do like, your pie hole turns off. I'm gonna suck. See, I don't know what took me so long to get this done. I think definitely getting my Raspberry Pi working took definitely the most amount of time uh, because I had to do an entire factory wipe and ask three people. But it turns out I had a typo the whole time. But uh, let's run the stats, shall we? Ow, jump gear. <laughs> I am going to leave some resources down below for things I used to learn and teach myself. Uh, maybe they'll help you. Maybe they won't. I hope they do. If not, and you like this kind of content from me, can you please let me know down below? Because this is a lot heavier of a lift than the normal kind of content that I make, but I hopefully made it entertaining. If there's anything else that you want me to show you how to do, let me know. I don't really know what I'm doing half the time and we watched me walk through it together. So if you enjoyed this, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I also have a podcast now with my friend Sheen Networks. If you want to go listen to that, it's available everywhere online at Breaking the Pod. It's called Breaking the Internet. We talk about tech stuff, tech for people who are not just beginners. I don't know. Anyone can listen to it really. And besides that, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And if you want to watch me on Twitch and basically anywhere else, I'm at Ending with Ali on everything, including my Minecraft. So thank you so much for watching. Good luck, have fun, and don't die. Bye!